lot of people asking, particularly with cockers, about armpit mats. As you can see, we ended up with a big old armpit mat this week somehow, even though I'm doing her like every five days. So she's been bathed and oh, it's not working, huh? Yeah, that's all right. We'll just keep working on it. She's been bathed and conditioned, and I forced a bunch of conditioner in here. And I'm going to try to save what I can without hurting her. So I'm now spraying it with also some dematting spray. And then I'm going to work on it with the pin brush and see if I can get it that way. Just a little bit at a time. Basically starting at the bottom of the mat and working my way up just like you would with your own hair if you had a knot in your hair, you have long hair. And I'm holding the back of the mat because it's not right tight to her skin. I'm holding the back of it so I'm not pulling on her and irritating her skin. So I'm just going to keep pulling all these little hairs out and then ooching them out of the way as I pull them out of the mat, if that makes sense. So you can see all the little hairs start to come out as I brush it. And then I'm scooting it out of the way. This is all part of line brushing too, but we'll be doing that later. Right now we're just working on this armpit mat. So I'm just really gently trying to work this knot out with trying to damage the coat as little as possible. <laughs> She's trying to get me to stop. Stop it. I'm not hurting you. <laughs> um, trying to work this mat out while damaging the coat as little as possible. So you always want to do it clean and wet with conditioner and or conditioning spray or both or whatever you can do to minimize the damage because once you demat then you will essentially be dematting that same spot over and over again because you damage the hair follicle and it causes basically a, not a smooth hair shaft and it has little ridges on it and it just starts grabbing its neighbors that are also damaged. So you have to try to minimize the damage as much as you possibly can in order to save the coat. You can see that it kind of ooches its way up and makes mats elsewhere too. Luckily, I believe this is the only place that we have knots. I think there's one little spot on her back leg for some reason. But we had been doing pretty well up to now. So I think I may have to up her bath schedule to every three days instead of every five days. Now that she's getting a little bit longer we're preparing for the Orlando grooming competition so I don't want I want as few mats as possible so it was Monday I brought her out here and brushed this same armpit out because I felt it getting matted got it all out and then yesterday which is Saturday I didn't get to do her bath and everything because I had other things going on and I realized that it was matting again. So it just, it takes a lot of patience. You can't just try to yank the whole knot out. 
And now I'm wondering with her little leg flipping if she's itching at something, but I don't see anything on her skin. So we're just going to gently, gently as possible, keep working at it. Keep, if, you, if you're working a big area um, like this, I try not to let this happen, but eventually it's going to happen. It, it happens to everybody. Um, unless the only thing you have to do is work on your show dogs, which, you know, a lot of us can't do that. I have a business as well but you can I don't know if you can hear it or not but when you're brushing you can also hear the the brush catch a knot as opposed to brushing a spot that doesn't have any knots you can hear it that's one of the telltale signs that you have mats if you're if you're first starting out and trying to figure out this where are these mats coming from thing. If your brush makes those a, a noise like that or a similar noise, even though it feels like it's going through, there's a knot there. And then sometimes you have to like brush it in different directions too to manipulate the hair. And then it'll start coming out easier. And I'm not hurting her, I'm just like kind of picking at the mat for lack of a better way to say it, but you, you can see it getting smaller and starting to come out. Particularly right here, I don't want to lose this side coat because that's what goes into her profile and I really don't want to lose that. If it was just the armpit, I might be tempted to trim some of it out. Um, but I don't, I don't want to lose this side and undercoat because in an co American Cocker, that's essential to their outline. So I don't want to lose this stuff. All Anything that sticks out on the side, I don't want to lose. So I'm just going to be real gentle with it and pick at it until it all comes out. And it's not a two second process. You have to have a lot of patience and just keep manipulating the hair until you figure out what's gonna make it come out the easiest. But wet and conditioner or conditioning spray and or both is essential to trying to protect the hair from as much damage as possible. And you can see everything else is not matted. It just seems to be this one spot for some reason. I'm gonna lift my elbow and hopefully you guys can see. But now it's gone from that big clump now down to this little spot. And we just keep just keep picking at it and manipulating it in different directions. And you can see her skin's not red. I'm not irritating her skin, really just, just picking at the hair and little, and sometimes she'll fall asleep when I'm brushing her in general, but I'm sure that it's pulling on her skin, but it's not irritating it and it's not causing her major amount of discomfort. When I start feeling it pull a little more than usual, then I just grab it from behind. down to just this little spot right here doesn't want to come out it's being a pain in the butt but that's how you get as little damage as possible while dematting something that you absolutely have to demat if this was not a show dog I would not be doing this because as we all know, as pet groomers, we don't we don't get cockers in like this, and people aren't generally going to brush them and keep them up. There are some people that do, and it's great. 
but as a general rule, most of these guys end up in a suburban modified trim because it's a lot of hair to keep up with and most people can't invest that much time into taking care of their dog's hair. If you do, more power to you. This is how you do it. But never ever brush dry, dirty coat. Always dampen it with conditioner or conditioning spray. And always make sure that you're trying to do the majority, if not all of it, with a pin brush. So now I've moved down to the elbow. That spot up here is all clear and all gone. And I've now moved up to this elbow because I'm sure that it's connected to the armpit mat somewhere. <laughs> I know you're bored, but we gotta do it. <laughs> She's kissing me to try to get me to stop.